the great, the delightful, the wondrous uh, thespian and man about town, Joe LaTrulio. Good to see you, Joseph. How Thanks are you? for having me back. I love being here. I love having you here. We love having you here. This <laughs> fantasy league that you are um, commissioner of. Yeah. Um, uh, eight hours per pick. Best ball. We encourage you not to use the full window. <laughs> we encourage everyone to have their cue ready and perhaps make a, a prudent and quick pick. Well, um, when we've been we've been cultivating this caper, to use a good fellow's phrase, uh -huh. uh, you and I over the last ten days. Yeah, you said um, maybe it's possible that when I'm on the air, one of us can be on the clock. That's right. And the fantasy football gods. Smiled Are they looking us. down on us today? I am in on the clock. Moment? I'm on the clock right now. Oh, this hey, is yes. wonderful. You know, now, do you have an idea? I have an idea, uh, and mm -hmm. here's my problem, and I know what he's going to say. Sure. Brockman. Sure. Is that I can make a pick for my team, or I can make a pick for content purposes. <laughs> And he always pushes me for content purposes. Yeah, he's thinking. He's thinking like a real, real, a real entertainment. He's thinking about it. Content. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you made a content pick your, yourself. Your we last did. pick we was did. Dalvin yeah, Cook, yeah. right? Overnight, TJ and I oh. took Dalvin Cook. So you could come in and say, you know, when I took Brees Hall and you vulture mine, or Brees isn't ready. Yeah, exactly. The Patriot yeah. fan will be using the and the. And press out. You feel okay Cowboy about that? fan with the, with Dalvin Cook. I mean, he's our fourth running back. Yeah. yeah. So and you're we're, good. we're in good shape. Yeah, we're Our running right. backs we're, are stacked. Mm -hmm. We're nice. So <laughs> that's that's the way this is rolling right I'm, now. I'm, I'm, I'm very curious as to see where this is going to lead. You know, this is a very uh, wide receiver heavy <laughs> league. It is. Um, I haven't chosen enough right. of them. You got to think about the second half. This is a best ball league for any listeners and watchers. Back here. Uh, hold on a second. The radio audience just returned. Joe LaTrulio is here, my friend, and uh, and I, I'll call you a colleague from our fantasy world right now, our best ball indeed. league. I'm on the clock right uh, now as you are here. Um, so, that yeah. said, you were – so the, the best ball the league – The best ball oh, league is uh, you're going to – it, it incorporates the funnest part of fantasy football, which I believe is the draft. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you draft 20 players. You got nine active. Um, three wide receivers and a flex in addition to the regular fantasy positions. And, uh, Minus got, the kicker. No kicker. No kicker. No kicker. There is a defense. So you got to think about the second half. Think about uh, vets and, and rookies and people that may, uh, may bring home the championship trophy for you at the mm -hmm. end of the season. Mm -hmm. And you are also, however, in a more conventional league as well, correct? I am also in a uh, redraft league and, and an auction league, and somehow I still do have a marriage. It's managed. <laughs> it's managed to still exist. Redraft, uh, auction, and this one. And the best ball. And That's the best right. Ball. Now, um, and th this is fine if you answer this question in, in the manner in which I think you will answer it. I do not take this personally because sure. I'm in the best ball one. You do have one you want to win the most, correct? I do, yes. And, and that is the uh, league which is called the McCoys League. This is a group of guys that I've known for a very long time. The league has been around for about 17 years, Whoa. I think. Uh, and I have yet to win... This league. I have been in the championship four times. I am the wow. Buffalo Bills of this league in terms of <laughs> reaching the big show. All due respect to the fantastic franchise in upstate New York. Uh, I cannot I cannot take a title okay. in the McCoys League. Okay. So. So who's in the McCoys League? Anybody else that we know? We have uh, some. Uh, I'll name drop a little bit. We Please. have um, I'm uh, Bobby Cannavale, and we have Paul Rudd. Uh, we have John Hamm, and these are some of the big the big hitters. And then a plethora, David Zayas, plethora of fantastic New York actors okay. uh, in that league. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Have, have the any of the aforementioned won? As, uh, I believe won? Uh, kind of Volley has won. I believe Rudd hasn't won that one. I could be wrong. Forgive me, Puff. So uh, I don't think Hamm I think Zayas has one. Okay, so you, uh, what's the name of your your team in that league? Because uh, we've heard Paul uh, Paul giving us some very fame, uh, funny. My, names. The name of my team is a uh, get a load of these guys. Get a load of these guys. Does That's that it. fit? Does that fit? It fits. The whole, it's all one word. G e d d a l o a d a d e e s e guys. Okay. <laughs> now, but if it's a certain website, you get you have to put get a loda on the one, and then D's guys on the other uh, one. Yeah, and you just get a loda on the one when they abbreviate. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Get a loda, uh, yeah. get a loda, everybody. <laughs> no relation to Abe Vigoda. Yeah. I don't know why I'm no, saying that, but I, I just did. All right. Yeah. Um, Rich, you're, you're up. Okay, you're taking. You're wasting time. 
Are you picking? Uh, He's got seven and a half hours. Are you picking? Are you you picking? You're up. You're the guy who sends an email to everyone to hurry up. You did put a lot of pressure on me. But this is now about content. (laughs) I did did get the squeeze. Excuse me. Excuse me. Rich, if you would hurry up with the content, we'd get Paul Rudd picking and then me and TJ picking if you would just make your pick. Or I'm Jim Gray and that's LeBron over here and we're going to do it at the end. How about oh. that? So doesn't doesn't care about us? We don't care about our pick? <laughs> Did LeBron Jim care Gray about everyone else? Did Jim Gray care about anybody's interest level? Wow. <laughs> Do you want to get right into it right now? Well, the kids weren't right. going to South Beach with LeBron. Okay, here we go. Oh. Um, no. I have my, I, I didn't, I took Kadarius Tony earlier. Uh-huh. Because I have a feeling mm-hmm. well, he that could, he, if he's healthy. If he's healthy, you've got, that's a steal. Oh, that, we, have, that. we have the graphic, actually. Here we go. Here's yeah, my team right. so far. My surprise ah. party team. There we go. Uh, Dak. Eckler was my first pick, mm-hmm. and then Devontae Adams was my second pick. Travis Etienne was my third. I went Brees Hall, McLaurin, Tony, Dallas Goddard, because I need a little tight end action, sure. and then Dak Prescott. So I'm about to add a ninth player to the team, Brees and the question team, is, do I continue actually. to amass mm-hmm. running backs and wide receivers? Do I get that second quarterback right this, now? This is a strategy because, you know, the backs are a lot of the big backs. Most, ba- most of the big backs are off the board. They are. But backs in general are going off the board, and uh, you could – Play quite a strategy to. Oh, uh, I, I know what you're gonna do. Do it. But I got I got three wide receivers and three running backs. Rich, take that mm-hmm. second quarterback. I know. Just do it. That's the one Just he's gonna do see. Do it. So he well, wants you, me. To, if you're gonna be do sniped, it. he wants me to take Aaron Rodgers. Right uh, now. <laughs> that's a homer pick, but you know what? A good one, right? Yeah, but I mean, I need to I need to start amassing wide receivers and and things that uh, nature. Yes, I you know again I can't be partial. I can't I can't lead the witness on what I would do. <laughs> As a Jet yeah, fan. As, as a fair commissioner to my fellow players. <laughs> you want me to choose Aaron Rodgers right now. <laughs> well, it's I the mean, content it's pick. It's the content pick. But I already have Dak, and I'm not going to do that. So I, I'm, I'm going to take the kid that I wanted to take. I'm going to take Quentin Johnston. I think he's really going to be good. Too there bad. There you go. Sorry I didn't do the pick. There you go. For, but, but Aaron Rodgers clearly um, has you and I and Very the rest excited. of – Jets Nation, if we refer to ourselves as that, or yeah. the Jets flight crew, or whatever the heck. We, um, uh, uh, well, listen, I have I have a confession to make. What's your confession? Um, and this is actually going, you, you guys have the scoop. This is going to probably hit the headlines that, you know, a character actor from a, a, a shall be unnamed sitcom is going to reveal uh, something very controversial. What's that? Well, you know, I've been a lifelong Jet fan. Yes, sir. Um, I'm, I'm a lo- I, I've, I devoted my life to the Jets. I wanted to make them a partner for life. I saw myself <laughs> drinking lemonade with them on the porch. Um, I'm married to the Jets. And yet, um, about seven years ago, I wasn't getting a lot out of this marriage. And I felt like my partner wasn't into the marriage as much as I was and maybe didn't suit some of the needs that I needed. And I... I stepped outside. You strayed. Oh. I strayed. I stepped outside the marriage. I'm coming clean now. Um, well, a hot little number came to L.A. in 2017. Oh. And I I started to um, have a bit of an affair with the L.A. Rams. Oh. And I had to, um, you know, really kind of dive into that. And we had, it was it was quite an exciting uh, uh, a party that we had with them. But a now. A dalliance? A da- yes, a dying Joe, I got to tell you, I didn't. How did TMZ not catch wind of this? <laughs> I how don't know. Harvey, how did this fly under the Harvey Levin radar? I don't know. I had to. I had to come clean with a lot of the boys from the aforementioned leagues that we were talking about, who yes. were not happy about me stepping out of the marriage. Kind of volley, and, and, and gave me some beef for it, rightfully so. <laughs> but look, I have to live my life. You know, I need to. I need to be happy too. And the Jets were not making me happy, and yes. I and and so. Um, uh, yes, I indulge. However, yes, what you realize is that you make a vow and that, that marriage is important. And if the Jets will have me, yes. look, my ex was, you know, uh, a wife is looking very good now. Yes. Looking very good now and really kind of dolled themselves up and really looks like <laughs> they put it together. <laughs> uh, excuse the fan will be coming my way fairly so. Uh, and and now yes, yes. I, I kind of wanna I wanna give it another shot if oh. they'll have me. And oh. what do you think? Have you are you are you did you throw yourself at? Uh, uh, I, I am your, throwing your, myself at at, yeah. at at the gang of Green. Well, again. I think I think what Aaron Rodgers has to understand. Yeah, uh, and the Jets have to understand that they should do it for the kids. You have to do it for the kids. Don't you think? You, you have to do, do it for think, the kids. Think of the children. Think of the children. If it's not for me anymore, let's just have a civil relationship. 
uh, them and I, and I think it'll be fine. It'll be healthy. We can show the kids that you know we could we can make amends. You didn't divorce. You just uncoupled. We uncoupled for a little consciously, bit. Consciously, right? You consciously, consciously uncoupled. uncoupled. Isn't that what they call it out here? No, I think so. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> they absolutely do. But, so but, but I hope they have me back. At least when you when you went outside the marriage, you got a you, you got a W. Oh, I got a W. The trophy was, in the case. It was fun. I'll be honest. It was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, we had a, we had a great time. <laughs> we had a great time. Oh, it was beautiful. The parties we had. Yeah, uh, lots of dancing. <laughs> Lots of drinking. Mm. Uh, it's lovely. Confetti. But confetti. Don't forget conf the confetti. Lots of confetti. That's what makes a great um, but relationship. But throughout the fling. entire time, yes. as fun as it was, I did feel a little guilty. I mean, I did think about. Yes. I did think about my ex a lot. Uh huh. So, I'm glad that it looks like it's going to work it out. It looks we'll like it's going to work out. You know, Aaron Rodgers and I have the same birthday. I did not so know that. So this is why I'm hoping. Oh. Um, well, the thing you know, is that I, I knew Rodgers was perfect for the Jets. Yeah. Because. I, too, understand that the Jets caused me to sit in darkness for many, many days on end. And when he did that, prior yeah. to joining the Jets, I'm like, he gets it. Yeah. He gets it. <laughs> Nothing is more Jet-like yeah. than just sitting in your own oh, Just world, going into a cave chewing and, it up. and thinking about but he's, how to handle things. He's manifesting now. How about him saying he's got a few, he wants to play for a few, a few good years? What a beautiful thing. By the way, great Aaron Sorkin movie. <laughs> And, yeah. and yeah. then and then he wants to then hand things off to Zach for another 15 years. Uh, that's a big number. That's a big <laughs> number. Yeah. You know, and listen. How about that one? I, you know, I love I love it's an ambitious it's an ambitious goal. And I hope that comes true. But, you know, look, Zach Wilson is not Aaron Rodgers yet. Perhaps he turns into it. But like for right now. The fact that Aaron is there, ready to kind of create a uh, uh, you know a dynasty with this team, I love the attitude. All right, yes or no question? Sure. Does Zach Wilson start a game this year? I think he starts. Uh, I think he starts a game. Week eighteen because uh, you got to yeah. rest Rogers for the playoffs. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> when we're when we're twelve and four, they're like, listen, give him a break. Give him a break. Get Sit him, him out. Let him rest Why up. Why does he need to play Belichick His dogs in week are barking. eighteen? By the way, that's what it is. Week 18, Belichick in New England. Imagine, send Zach Wilson out there to take one for the team. Week 18, you go out there, Zach. You face Belichick one more time in New England. Home, <laughs> home of the, what, 3-3 three, three game that the Jets lost because they friggin' punted it to somebody. That could be for the division. Get out of here. Look, it was it was tough. This is why I, you know, for the there's division. some rough times it's in the Jets marriage. You know, I know. Our marriage weathered the butt fumble, so, you know. <laughs> and that's not easy. <laughs> you did that for the kids, yeah, too. I stayed, I stayed with her <laughs> after the butt fumble. butt fumble. I tried. Joe, that happened on Thanksgiving. Uh, I know that was a terrible move on my part to leave then. <laughs> that uh, happened on thanks friggin' no, I didn't leave, yeah. Okay. Oh, come on now. By the way, this is a uh, uh, no, our coordinating producer is putting that up on the screen. Is a diehard <laughs> Buffalo Bill fan who I think is potentially very upset with you because you called it upstate New York. I just want to make sure you understand. Yeah. It, when you refer to Buffalo, it is western New York. Thank you. you. Thank do, you for the correction. If you call it upstate New York, thank you. they will come at you. Come at, yeah, like I'm you being thrown through their a family. folding table. Fair yes, enough. You will do that. I do yes. apologize to the fans up there. Yes. I want to make sure West I want to leave there. You, I want to leave you in a better spot. <laughs> Thank you. So, who's on the clock right now, Chris? Did Max choose yet? Cuz he's uh, up next. No, Max is up. Ah, uh, I don't think he's listening to me. Oh, oh there no. he is. All right. I said you need to pick live on the air. Lot yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll run on deck and then TJ and I are in the hole. Okay. Uh, I I I I'm not going to text while I'm on television and radio. <laughs> He's because what the, is he, can, the, word that, the word the word that he he texted he I'm not allowed to say on the air. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know I don't I don't uh, have the board as uh, I don't know how many um, where he is on roster players and position players we can predict what he what he's going to choose though. So let's take a look at uh, uh, Brockman and TJ's team um, mm -hmm. as it currently stands because this is the way we can help chop up a little fantasy football. Mm. Uh, very young team you've got. Yeah, nice. Fresh Very legs. young Lots teams. Of fresh I mean, Godwin's fresh D legs. Godwin, Chubb, Debo, and Dalvin are very uh, veteran presence mm -hmm. to offset Justin Fields, Bijan, Isaiah Pacheco, and George Pickens. So, Solid. 
Solid team there. Well, vibes. Solid. High is, vibes. Oh, uh, f- solid is fighting words around here, by the way, for <laughs> me. The rich. I don't oh, know if it you're is? aware of this. Yeah. I, 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 tell, I th- tell me more. I don't think it's a compliment. Yeah, he hates the word Really? Solid. Yeah, I do. How, how so? Because you could use a much better adjective if it was better. Well, that's true. You could say that's a terrific team. That's an outstanding job out of you. You go solid. Okay. You know what I mean? Solid. Okay. People use the, the word solid as if it is a compliment. If you call something I do solid, hey, Rich, you got a solid show. Your studio looks solid. Your guys are solid. I'm like, there's a better adjective, I uh, think. Oh, well, this is good to know. <laughs> it's the way I leave. He's the only one that feels that way, Joe. Solid that- show today, guys. Don't, <laughs> don't ever say it. Let's see what I'm saying. <laughs> solid don't ever job. say it. Solid job out of you. Spectacular show, guys. <laughs> you know what I think? Much better. That's exactly right. You know, there, there was a friend of mine, um, <laughs> an old uh, old acquaintance, I should say, that did a uh, stand-up um, routine. This is many, many years ago, over a decade in New York City, and it did not go that well. And I don't like lying, and, and I wanted to be honest, because he was kind of clueless as to how well it went. He thought it went a little bit better, but it mm-hmm. was very clear it did not. So when he came off, I said, mm-hmm. you really went for it, man. Oh, that's high register. Ooh. And it went up. Yep. And it went up. Yes. Um, but he missed it. It didn't try. He's like, yeah, I, th- I did. I did. He was kind of, yeah. I don't know whether he was in shock or otherwise. But that was the best <laughs> I could do. Well, you know, high, I we, didn't say solid. We have a, a term here, higher register, uh, that if oh. we call people out on that, okay. is that, you know, I think that that's a pretty good team. Like, you don't really believe it. You got to go higher <laughs> register to say something that you don't really mean to yeah. make it sound like yeah, you believe to it. Yeah, convince yourself. Like, for instance, let's take a look at your solid team so far. Oh. Let's take a look at your solid well, draft choicing. There's going to uh, be some arguments no, I here. think it's a pretty good team you got here. Ah, <laughs> went up. It Jalen went up. Hurts. Look, uh, look, uh, by uh, the way, is he the greatest fantasy quarterback that could be had right he, now? Other him, What, him and Mahomes, I guess? Or, yeah, yeah. Or Hurts, Hurts could be a thousand-yard rusher. He and, could. Look, I mean, I think many people would look at this team and say, like, what are you doing? And that's fair. But again... <laughs> I like to I like to invest oh in like young and great wide receivers. Jamar Chase, or you got Devontae mm-hmm. Smith to pair with Hertz, Christian mm-hmm. Watson, Jordan Addison. Those are young. You couldn't you can't quit the Jets. There's Elijah Moore, Miles yeah. Sanders, and Brian Robinson, who I hope does very well in his career for various reasons. Especially because if you think Bijan is going to do very well, um, it's it's just the difference between a J and an R, and then you know you just scramble the first name, you know. Right. So you never know. You never know. I never know. Okay, no. that's not a bad. Nice. That's that's a very it's good team. Well, I think it's a good team. <laughs> <laughs> you got some I serious wide points, receivers. It'll come down to the points, as it always does. Have you? <laughs> that's why they play the game. That's why they play the game. Have you done the, your draft in other in the other leagues? No, we have uh, we have an auction coming up uh, on Wednesday. Um, you like the then, auction? Do, I do like the auction. Yeah, it's an auction keeper. Yeah, league. So who are you keeping in that league? Uh, well, a lot of the contracts have, have gone contracts. up. Contracts? Yeah, there, there's a four-year contract limit. So, you know, after you keep a player for four uh, years, it's got to go. So I think I'm keeping um, a lot of my guys expired, like A.J. Brown is gone. So I think I have uh, Chris Olave and... Uh, you keep him. ATN, yeah. Um, a lot of the really, really studs um, I had to let go. So it'll so, be a rebuilding who, so, year. Is that right? It'll be a rebuilding <laughs> year for me, yes. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Okay. So the four-year contract for A.J. Brown is up? It's up. Okay. It's gone. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, and Chubb get, as well. Chubb is gone. This is get a load of these guys? Is that what this that is? is? No. This is uh, this team is called the Nunzios. Okay. Um, and this is just a, a nonsense word that I've that has stuck. Okay. Okay. Um, and that league, yeah, that's called the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Is uh, who are the extraordinary one. gentlemen? Uh, we have a couple of people from the other league that I uh, mentioned, and a couple of others. Um, uh, is Rudd uh, in that one too? Rudd is also in that one. Yeah, he, Man. it's yeah. unbelievable. How does he have and I, and I, tell us he has, he's in like four leagues. Didn't he tell us that one? There time? is another league that I forgot to tell you that I am in. And oh that, gosh, and that's called is it a secret league. No, <laughs> it's like no. Fidelio. You have to say that to get in. This is called the Guillotine League. Are you guys familiar with the Guillotine League? No. So a guillotine league is um, you draft um, the computer randomly picks an entire team, okay? So you'll draft you'll you'll pick a whole team, but you um, don't pick it. The computer does. The computer picks the whole team, and then you look. There's a draft order, and you'll see like, oh, this team has this team has like Bryce Hall and it has Chase, and it's already picked. And you well, like, oh, it's got Jalen Hurts, but it's got this other player I don't want. So once you have the whole team, whoever comes in last for that week, out, out, and so you just keep. 
You keep chipping away Hold on until whoever's less. Let me left. just. Okay. So how many how many are in this league? Uh, this league, I believe, is twelve. Twelve. Okay. So then yeah. you get a you get a draft order. Say twelve. you're seventh, right? Yep. So then then you log on to the site. Yep. There are twelve teams that have been drafted completely yes. automatically. You don't watch them come in. They're just boom. Yes. Here are the twelve teams. Whoever's drafting first gets the first shot. And right. then you get the seventh. Right. So the seventh roster will be your choice. More, my, more, more, more Rick Kelly's choice. <laughs> more choice. Yes. So you have, once you do that team, you have to stick with that team right. for a week. Once that, well, for the for, for week one. Yes. And then you can start dropping players and getting off the waiver wire. Okay. It is a waiver wire. It is a pickup team. There's no trades, but you can drop and pick up. So it's um, like a players. shamble. You have to play the the, the <laughs> drive, and then you could you play, then you shoot correct from there your own shot. Correct. Okay. And yes. so then, uh, and, and the per- then whoever loses week one, so it's it's a total point total. Yeah. And if you are in last in week one, done. You're out. So you're if one you're, and done. If you're set, yes. And if you're second to last, yes, you get five bu- uh, bucks because the the age of the waiver wire is a um, is a is, is money. Okay. So you'll get an extra five dollars. Uh, if you're second to laugh, in other words, if you if you make it, if you make the cut, uh-huh. uh, to spend on the waiver for that week, you know, if you um, and the the cut team's roster goes back into free agency. Correct. That's what I was Correct. reading here. Yeah. Correct. Yes. That's kind of interesting. So it's what fun. you're doing it's very now, fun. It's and, kind of fun. And, and a league with us where you can't make any changes. Correct. And yeah. it's the, your team well, for the entire part, year. You're done. Once you're done drafting, that's it. There's nothing you can do. But we're never done drafting because this league takes forever <laughs> right. to draft. It's, a full, it's called eight hours or die. You know. Has oh. Max not picked yet? He's got the green dot, so I think he's actually online. He's what's online he doing? Checking. Has he got like his, <laughs> his magazines out? or what? It's just like I gave him a, a heads up 15 minutes ago and he's grinding. Yeah. Paul Rudd is in another country and is he's making, managing he's to making do it. picks. Rudd is making his picks. Yeah. Very uh, Drafting from um, Romania. And by the way, that's not a metaphor. At least Budapest. legitimately. Budapest? Is that what it is? Okay. I believe so. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. You want to talk about your Mets or no? <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, pass. Yeah. Yeah, I'll uh, talk. You and, TJ, you and TJ are in that, uh, uh, in that boat. You know, Joe, one time after, uh, I think, game four or five of the 15 World Series, you and I were in the elevator together. We were leaving uh, after. I think I forget how the Mets lost that game. It just well, game five of the the Royals. The Royals. Yes. Mets? Yeah. And so we were in the elevator coming down from some oh, section together. I was so up in the brutal. box. Was that when Harvey went about? Yeah, Matt you know, Harvey came back out. Came yes. Back out and he shouldn't and, yes. come out for the ninth. Yes. 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 Oh, that was that was that was brutal. Yeah. I was happy for uh, Kansas City, great town. Um, but of course, <laughs> <laughs> they are. It is a great town. It's a great town. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's so town. old great school. Town. That's so old school. Yeah. Great town. Great people. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to lose to them. <laughs> Definitely I certainly not. I didn't want to lose to them. I didn't want to lose to them. Great town. Great town. You know? Great town. Great food. Great, great food. Barbecue. Too, you know? great food. Yeah, runs from there. Big slick. A uh, great part of the country. The barbecue is excellent. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that that series <laughs> didn't uh, want to lose to him though. Oh, that's brutal. Yeah, well, you know, I'm glad that the Mets this year uh, threw in the towel and did not, you know, go to the way of the Angels and the Padres and kind of but stuck they, it out. They they chose a lane. The Yankees are five and twelve since Brian Cashman said we're gonna. I believe in the guys here. I'm not making any moves. They're five and twelve. Yeah, that's how they rewarded him. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, mean, I was. Just I, thanks I, for the help, Brian. Not, We're gonna win five out of twelve, not, not five out of seventeen five. games. We're gonna go through a four-game stretch where our entire team output is gonna match Julio Rodriguez's. <laughs> Who went, by the way, seventeen for twenty-one over yeah, a four-game yeah, stretch. Three straight four-hit right games. Oh. All right. I, you know, I again, yeah, I think it was the right move. We it didn't work. We it did not work. We saved a little bit of money. I just hope. Um, what's important to me is that they get Pete on the team for a long time next year after next year. And uh, because oh, he's, uh, I hope he remains a lifelong Met. I hope he becomes like a, a, a what David Wright was to the, to the, to the, the team and um, which just stuck around for he's, a long time. He's a delightful human. And I think the Mets, the, the only people that don't want to see Pete Alonzo in the league is anybody who comes up with their first career hit and the ball winds up in his hands. He'll just throw I it right mean, into the stands. He made up for it. He apologized. <laughs> he sent a bottle in 1942. Did he get the ball back? Yeah, yeah, they they did. Did. He got the ball they back. Did. Oh, they but did. Apparently, okay. it's when, whenever a ball is ruled by an umpire to be out of play, he 
does yeah, all the does. time it's fire the it into the stands oh. and then the, he overheard the umpire after oh. this cardinal came up with his first career hit saying we're going to need a new baseball and he heard that and he just fired it into the stands and you could see Ugh. immediately after is what he looked said at the, he looked at the so, dugout he was wow. like my bad my bad my bad they got the ball they back. got the ball back he sent a bottle in 1942 you know that ain't oh, cheap yeah that ain't cheap grab bat you know yeah. and i'm with you joe i love pete these guys brotman will tell you pete like alonzo pete. was my favorite baseball player from week one of his rookie season yeah. but i'm at the point now where if we get into like year 10 and the mets aren't doing anything then i kind of want to see him go somewhere and win oh, oh, too I, far I, away from that. he deserves he deserves a win you know my out from that so I, I'm with you. He, he deserves he deserves a ring. I hope the Mets could bring it. You know, I have a seven year old, and last year um, for his first uh, baseball game, we went down to um, Petco Stadium, which is a terrific stadium, and um, the Mets got thumped. This is last year, about thirteen to one, and I was terrified that my son was no longer going to want to be a Mets fan. Yes. And quite frankly, <laughs> he didn't. He's like, "This is the terrible." And I said, "Listen, <laughs> why don't we why don't we go?" Th- watch them play the angels a few days later and so we got tickets we went um to angel stadium and mm-hmm. luckily uh they won and pete alonzo knocked one out of the park and my son saw it and now he's an alonzo fan and i hey, and i and it. i saved that relationship and i feel very nice. proud of that well i'm glad at least some relationship was saved with your son after you left the jets for the rams yes, i know well <laughs> but just tell true. your son you're coming back for I'm him coming back yeah so he's seven can you just play old uh youtube videos of the 86 season and, and trick him <laughs> that's and right yeah. show him yeah. some, of, some of those yeah. Yeah. Wonderful yeah. highlights. Yeah, before there yeah, was son, a, Mookie, uh, Mookie. before there was a bets, there was another Mookie. <laughs> son, uh, thanks for coming on, man. Thanks for having You're me. Good best. luck. You on wanna, the rest you of wanna the have to hang out for the rest sure. of the show? Okay, don't go anywhere. I don't know. Right. We're, we're not kicking Joe out of here. Max is still on yeah. the clock. Jeez. All right, let's <laughs> let's call him a new commercial break. Because he's time him right now. Because what is Rudd like sitting in book in Bucharest Rudd, ready to Rudd draft? Rudd has the green dot. That he means so he's on line. Here's what it is. Get him on the Take a break. Break you. You, can we get Rudd on the phone and run on the phone? Pick a. All right, I'll, as I'll long take, as Max a makes a pick. Don't nobody move. <laughs> this is going to be great. This is going to be great. Very exciting. But Joel Atrulio, you were saying uh, last mm-hmm. week, I'm going to come on Monday. Maybe you can make a pick live, yeah. Yeah. or you could pick, make a pick live in our mm-hmm. best ball league, mm-hmm. where you choose a player, yeah, and it, it, he's yours for the year. Yeah, You're, that's it. Okay, one and done. And and the roster just gets set by the computer based on point totals. Correct. Okay. I made a pick. Yeah. All right. Well, now, we... Max Handelman just made a pick, meaning oh, Paul oh, Rudd did. is on the clock. Who nice. did Max pick before we... Max picked... Hold uh, on a minute. Zach gotta... Charbonnet. Zach Charbonnet. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Seattle. So, Rudd's on the clock. What time is it in, in Bucharest? I think it's almost 9 o'clock. All right, yeah. here we go. I'm going to call him. He's going to make his pick live on the oh, air. Oh, no, it's almost 10. It's 9.51 Hold p.m. On Hold on a minute. Here it comes. Oh. It's not making the boop. It's not making that it's not noise. The, the blip? It, it doesn't. It's not like an out. Like he would be, there we go. It's like call waiting. Here it is. Hello? Hey, Paul Rudd, are you there, sir? Hi, Rich. Hi, Paul. <laughs> Say hi to Joe Latrulio, Paul. Hey, buddy. Hi, Joe. Oh. I miss you guys. Miss you too, fella. So, How are you? So uh, are you ready to make your choice live on, 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 uh, on the show, Paul? Okay. Okay. Oh, by the way, you're being billed wow. on the screen as fantasy football professional right now, Paul. <laughs> yeah. wow, what a graphic. <laughs> Years of service. Say it again, Paul. Uh, that's false advertising. Okay. Uh, <laughs> where are are you? Literally in Europe right now? Is that where you are making this pick? Is that what's? I, I am. Okay. I am. This is dedication. I am. And uh, yeah, and thanks to uh, the internet, it's showing up. Yeah, in uh, Los Angeles on your show. This is it? Okay, so go for it, Paul Rudd. Make your choice. Ooh, here we go. Uh, if you want to walk, talk us through it like it's, uh, uh, you know, who wants to be a millionaire, go for it. Go for it. I was scrolling through, <laughs> looking at all the players, looking at needs and uh, and players that I liked and possibilities, and I thought, hmm, who has a name? That I will never in my life ever be able to pronounce correctly. <laughs> and that person is this guy. <laughs> okay. Oh, gosh. Wow. He's right. Who is Did it come up? <laughs> yes, it did. Yeah, yes, it did. It's a tight end? Yes, it's a tight end. Yeah. I got a tempo. 
Oh, I don't even know how to Tennessee pronounce it. Conquo. Yeah. Very nice pick. Very nice pick, end. Paul. You went tight. Nice. Okay. I was I was, yeah. I was I was I was I was thinking about picking him. Well done. Okay. Well done, Paul. Uh, well, thanks. You know, this is the thing, and and I, you know, guys, we talk every year. We go through this. Oh yeah. Joe and I. Yeah. We're we're in several leagues together, and we always know who the other guy is going to pick. Yes. Because Joe and I study the exact same stuff. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we, we share the same cheat sheets. What is more United Nations than an American? <laughs> In Romania, <laughs> choosing an Aconquo. Sniping a, cl- a close friend. There you go. Bless you. We love Paul, you, Paul. Thank you for the call. Uh, take care, bud. Uh, take care, Rich. Bye, Joe. Bye, bye, Paul. There's Paul Rudd, everybody. Actor and fantasy football professional. Fantastic. Uh, wonderful. Oh, that, that what was, a big finish. Look at that. That was, that was a big finish. That was... More wow. than solid, right? International it's, show today. If you said that was a solid finish. Uh, spectacular finish. Out of boy. Spectacular See. finish. And, and guess what? On our Roku channel, you guys are on the clock to finish up. Hey. Oh, look at that. Uh, people are getting Roku right now if they don't already have it. <laughs> All right, we got about a minute and a half. We got a lot to get to. Joe, what's going on with you? you want to I, just, I just wanted to, uh, uh, any comedy fans, um, the city's doing a live show, a theater show in Denver on August 30th, and we'll be in New York City October 16th through the 18th. We are making a donation to the Strike Fund. But please, if you like the uh, the group and the show, come on out and check us out. Fantastic. Yep. Chris, have you chosen? You and TJ chosen? We're making we a pick right now, Rich. This is a content pick. Yes. Yeah. Juju is- Smith-Schuster. Okay, for the New England Patriots, Juju Smith-Schuster has added the call. And I, and by the way, uh, I, 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 I realized I did not hang up on Paul Rudd. Paul, you still here? Paul, you there? I'm, I'm still there. Is Greg, is Greg Olson still there? No, he's uh, <laughs> That's about two hours ago. But it's about to re-air on the Roku channel if you've got I that. I missed him. Okay. So do you want to, do you want to call, do you want, do you want to call someone out? That's a thing. This, uh, do you want to call something, you want to call somebody out, Paul? You want to call out? Uh, I think, yeah, I do. Okay. I, I do. Because, and I think you know this. Because we've all talked about it. Yes. Yeah. But John Hammond, you know, this is the thing with this best ball. You get eight hours to make a decision. Yes. And John takes all eight hours. He's and on the it clock. Isn't during the night when he's sleeping. It's during the day. Yeah. I'm I'm nine hours ahead of you. <laughs> and I sleep with the computer next to my bed. I have a terrible <laughs> night sleep because of the stress. <laughs> and I'm going to keep everybody waiting. Well I wake up at like just three in the morning and I'm and I and I and I open the computer to, to make a pick. And if I can do that, then John Hamm can certainly take time out of his Oh, he's and he has he has Emmys. I mean, he's we call him the exactly. goat, the greatest of all time. He certainly <laughs> should be able to make a pick within eight hours. One would think, and one would think. By the way, he just got on the. You would absolutely think so. So he just got on the clock. So Paul, we'll chat again in about fifteen eight. hours. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no kidding. I'll, 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 I'll log in for tomorrow's show, and he'll still be on the clock. Fantastic. <laughs> Paul, take care of yourself. I'm call him. <laughs> take care of yourself, bud. You be well. Bye, Bye buddy. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Paul. Paul Rudd. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 